Okay, I did it. I gave in. Phil wins again. Today's a big day. Today I'm taking our new to us Jeep to a local RV dealer where they're going to put on the Blue Ox base plate, install the wiring harness, and install the Air Force One braking system to our new towed vehicle. We are heading over to the car place. I don't even know where we're going actually. Texas RV Supply. So we can have the second part of the install done on the rig. Um, the, the car was there, as you guys know, it was there all day yesterday. So today they do the other half. And what exactly do they have to do the RV? They're going to install the actual tow bar, make sure that the Air Force One braking system and the lights all work plugging in to the rig. So it's just, it shouldn't be more than an hour, I would say, of them hooking that up and walking us through that motion. Because we already have part of it, right? Yeah, we have so, part of the Air Force. We have the Air Force One compressor um, underneath. Damn, why did I come this way? <laughs> I don't know. Why'd you come this way? Just taking a we're, tour of the we're RV. We're touring the RV park right now. We're Jesus. doing circles. <laughs> so, so welcome. I hope you're having fun. I can't talk and drive at the same time. <laughs> this could be dangerous. Yeah. In right there gotcha. so it's not coming out okay so you have to pull and turn to get them out when you take off this is going to lock in the out position okay? okay so you cannot push this back you got to be careful here sometimes you go in and pinch your finger you know because <laughs> it'll stick a little bit i never have to drive on that dang dolly again whoop, whoop. i am so happy right now if you guys have seen our past videos you'll know how much i hate that freaking dolly how many times i pulled on in the rain i even skidded on as i was going up the ramp once and almost slid off the side of this stupid thing so i am a happy camper all right so the biggest thing now is um what you're gonna see in your rear view camera i really can't tell that i'm towing anything different um it looks different in the camera the weight feels about the same now I'm just I've just got to get used to it being back there and not being as wide as the dolly now. So I'm I'm happy as I'll get out of it. You just don't know. I am super happy. So is my back. Originally, when we started out, we were trying to save a little bit of money. Um, our both of our cars were paid for, and um, so we didn't want to buy another car. And also. It, we knew the cost of setting up for flat tow was going to be anywhere between four and six grand, depending on you know what we had and what part of the country we're in. So that is the reason we started out with Miss Dolly. Yeah. We thought it was a great idea. In the beginning, it was. It was. It was a fiscal. What's the word? I didn't know you knew that word. Uh, it was using our fiscal responsibilities. <laughs> no, it was the best thing that we could get because. Both cars were paid for. We didn't want to have to, to buy a new car, this and that. And, you know, we thought, okay, we'll just put it on the dolly. Everybody else does it. So yeah, why so can't no we? no big deal. Yeah. And there are a lot of people who have a dolly and they, t and they pull a dolly and they love it and have no problems with it. I, on the other hand, I hated it because I hated driving up on it a few times. It was raining and, you know, the car shifted. And when we tried the Fiat, that actually slid a little bit on the dolly, which really scared the crap out of me. Yeah. And for Phil, I didn't like putting the um, Acura on it because it was low to the ground and we actually damaged the Acura yeah. um, 
in two different spots, significant um, damage. Once we knew that it wasn't a good fit anymore, um, we decided to bite the bullet. Yeah, and if we were going to get another car, that you know, why don't we just go with flat tow? The last reason that the dolly really didn't work for our specific situation was because of Phil's back. You know, this thing weighs about 500 pounds, and yes, he doesn't have to pick the whole thing up, but he does have to, you know, move it around, and he also has to, you know, with shimmying in, turning weird between the bikes and the RV to raise it up and lower it, and that's why we're getting rid of it. Yeah, it, um, it was a matter of time before I bent down um, to hook this thing up or unhook it, and then I wouldn't be able to stand back up. I mean, he did pull his back out picking up a pair of socks one day, so it yeah. was only a matter yeah. of time. Other people, like I said, have it, and they have no problems with it. They have no plans to get rid of this. This, again, is a personal preference for us. Yeah, and, and those that have it, they swear by them. And in the beginning, I thought this was going to be a beautiful relationship. <laughs> but now we're divorcing now, her. Now she's Dolly got is Go. out. The, the vehicle that we chose to tow is a 2019 Jeep Cherokee 4x4 Trailhawk. Yes, he won. We now have a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Jeep Wrangler or a Rubicon. It's the Trailhawk. So it was kind of our compromise. If you've seen our videos, you know I'm not a fan of Jeeps, but actually... I kind of like this one. I drove it from Luling to San Antonio, which is about an hour, um, and it was pretty comfortable. It yeah, was a nice ride. It, it it definitely rides very nice on the interstate. Everybody talked about how well it drove. So, of course, this is not the only car on the market that you can flat tow. It is just the one that we chose. Now, there is a um, a guide that you can look up, and I'll put the link below. It's the dinghy. Um, it's the motorhome dinghy towing guide. Yes. So, yeah. and like I said, I'll put that link below. And they put up a, out a new one every year. And this guy tells you exactly what you have to do per transmission of whichever vehicle you're looking at. Because they're all different as to all the steps that you have to take um, if you're going to flat tow. Yeah, so this particular vehicle is pretty much a plug and play, and that's what we wanted. I went to the owner's manual online when yeah. I was doing my research on different vehicles, and it'll tell you right in there, yes, you can flat tow, or no, you can't flat tow. Yep, and that's a great place to start. I actually would start at the dinghy guide that we talked about. Mm -hmm. And then once you read it in there, of course, trust but verify. So I would go from there once you figure out which car you want and then verify it in the actual manual of the car. Yeah. There are many different ways that you can bring along a car when you're RVing or you may choose not to bring a car at all. So we do have a video that says pros and cons of each choice, so it might help you decide which one is best for you as you get started. For us, as we said, we had the dolly, she's now out of the picture, <laughs> and now we're gonna uh, show you the difference in the two. So the dolly used to take us about, what, 30 minutes? 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, give or take, and probably longer when it was raining. So here's us having a great time with the dolly. show you the new improved way we're going to bring our car with our flat tow. So our flat tow system is the Blue Ox um, 7420 model and it's rated for at 10,000 pounds um, and it has a two inch receiver. Got all my stuff. Inventoried everything. I'm good to go so I'm going to start installing everything. So I'm going to start with my pin here. Put it in and these you can turn either left or right until it clicks. I went to the right so that my pin is on the outside. Other pin. Push in. See the tension. Once the spring comes out, turn it. Locks in place on the outboard side. Now I'm going to take my pin out. My first arm. I'm going to hook it in. And these are pretty user friendly. And with 
these, as you can see on the side, it says this side up. And if that rubs off, then the bolt head should always be up. They've almost sailor proofed it. All right, that one's in. All right, I'm gonna hook up my safety chains. And these should be crisscrossed, just like a regular trailer um, chain. Easier said than done. All right, so now I'm gonna hook up my light to the car, or to the Jeep, and now to the RV. All right, next thing I'm going to do is uncap my air fitting. And the good thing about these air fittings is they are already pushed back, so all you have to do is push in and they automatically lock. And the last thing I'm going to do is hook up my safety brake cable. In case something happens, this is my last line of defense to stop the toad. Okay, so the actual setup of the Jeep to the RV, the tow uh, setup is good to go. Now I'm going to move in and get her ready to. Um, disengage the transmission and make sure all four tires are ready to roll. All right, so now I'm gonna go through the 19 steps of releasing the transmission so that the vehicle will flat tow. Should be fairly simple, but I am gonna read each one um, as this is the first time that I'm doing this. So I'm gonna use the book and then eventually I'm gonna make a cheat sheet and I'm gonna put it up here in the visor so that when it's time to um, get ready to hit the road, I just pull it out, it's right there. All right, first thing is gotta stop the vehicle. Must be at a complete stop. All right, turn the engine off and then turn the ignition to the run mode, but don't start the engine. Um, press and hold the brake pedal, shift the transmission into neutral, and then use a ballpoint pen to push in the recess button um, next to the neutral setting on the um, console here till the red light that's next to it stays on. I'm going to start the engine, release the parking brake, shift the transmission into reverse, release the brake for five seconds to make sure that there's no movement with the vehicle, put the transmission back into neutral, apply the parking brake, shift the transmission into park, and turn Turn the engine off. Make sure that the, the tow bars and all are attached. Then I'm going to turn the ignition back to the run mode, but I'm not going to start the engine. I'm going to press and hold the brake pedal. I'm going to release the brake pedal and I'm going to turn the vehicle off. Then we should be good to go for flat towing. So I have driven the Acura up the stupid dolly for the last time. So if you're interested, we have a dolly for sale. That's right. Let us know in the comments if you know somebody interested in a slightly used tow dolly. So if everybody remembers, there was a video when we were in Tennessee. I'm not exactly sure where we were at. And Stacy had said prior to that, no Jeep. She was not getting a Jeep. And then we went to this, this place in Tennessee. I think it was um, Pigeon Forge. Yes. And we went to go meet some friends and there was a Jeep rally in town. Jeeps everywhere. Surrounded by Jeeps. So that was a sign right there that we were destined to have a Jeep. And I can't be more happier than I am right now that we have gotten rid of that Acura. As much as I loved it, we got rid of it before we really, really damaged it. Well, I'm just glad I don't have to drive it up in the rain anymore. I will let you have your win. Although <laughs> I think most of the wins do eventually go to Phil. He does wear me down, um, but I'm happy with it. This is a true win for both of us. We, we should have done this in the beginning. Um, but you don't know till you know. That's right. So here, that's where we're at. The Jeep is now ours. The dolly is now gone and... Um, Almost gone. Please <laughs> let us know if you're looking for a dolly or you know somebody that needs one. Yeah. We'll be back on the road soon and having more adventures. So we're going to head east and then um, make our way up the northeast coast. Yep. So I'm pretty excited about that. But first we need to finish up a few things here where we're at. Um, but then we'll hit the road again. Looking forward to it. All right, so you know what I'm going to say. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And we will see you on, on the, the road. road. No matter which. Let's see. Originally, when we. Da, da, da. I'm doing it again. <laughs> there are pros and cons to all types of towing or flat tow or. I don't like, still don't like. Uh. Okay, let me start thing. over. Yep.